morning. Oh, I'm tired. It it is really morning. It's like 6 a.m. I think I got this Instacart before Giant opens. Which has not happened to me in a long time. I just happened to wake up and I was like, all right, turn the app on. Anyway, this joint is like 19 bucks going six miles. 19 or 20 items. A lot more units, but most of it's produce. So let's get this day started. to you by bud soda two miles and i don't have any gas stay tuned to find out if i run out of gas all right <clears throat> i didn't run out of gas i knew i wasn't going to i was right next to the gas station i have never run out of gas I've come very close many times. Like a week ago, I was riding around and that, the joint told me I had zero miles left. But we didn't run out of gas. All right, so as I made my way back from doing the Instacart, I got a DoorDash. It is 750, two and a half miles. Good order. All right, DoorDash out here playing games. Hot and fitty set. All right, got the next Instacart. I don't know how long it's been. It's about 8.45, so probably been like an hour. I hopped on my bike in my room for a little bit, got like 20 minutes in, seven miles. Um, but yeah, anyway, this Instacart, it's at the Wegmans. So I'm four or five miles away from Wegmans. Then I gotta drive about 12 miles to drop it off, but it's $50, 23 items for Michael Jordan. I think today is probably gonna be a pretty busy day with Instacart because it's Valentine's Day. So I don't, I, I can see a lot of people using Instacart to order their, their stuffs. All right, that Wegmans order went super smooth and it's actually only going eight miles because, you know, sometimes the GPS takes you down the highway when you can go down back roads and drive less miles. But anyway, I wasted like two or three minutes in there debating whether I should buy coffee creamer or not because I kind of ran out for my coffee this morning. I have a, like, there's a little bit, so it's not the most bitter coffee ever, but it's more bitter than I like. So... Anyway, Wegman's charging five dollars for a thing of coffee creamer, and I was like, man, I can know I can get it for three bucks at Food Line if I just wait. And then you know how Wegman's makes their own coffee and stuff up at the front. I went by that section, got myself some freebies. I just realized, y'all, I'm delivering to the mansion again. Alright, we lost a couple bucks on that order. Not mad. Not mad at all. An amazing tip. You can't you can't get mad about that. But I think I only I refunded them on a, a thing of mangoes. It was a family pack, so it was a big thing of mango because they didn't have any mango. I even asked the people cutting the fruit. And 
we're taking off. And what else did I refund them? Oh, they wanted some Talamook Neapolitan ice cream. They didn't have that. So I refunded them. No, I replaced it with uh, the Wegmans brand, which was like half the price. But still, I guess when the tip is so good, those little things can make a big deal. Whatever, who cares? All right, so I'm not doing this Instacart, but I saw it and it made me think. And I was like, you know, Instacart, the big problem with Instacart is the gambling aspect. You know, you lose money on these orders. Like this order, it's nine bucks. It's only picking up three items. It's not going far at all. But if any of those items are missing, I'm not even gonna make nine bucks. Like that's not worth it just because of that. That, that risk alone makes that order completely not worth even trying to do because I don't want to make less than nine bucks doing that order. If you could guarantee I'd make that nine bucks, I'd probably hop on that and do it and get it done in 10 minutes, 20 minutes. All right, it's got this DoorDash, six bucks, two miles. It's probably been like an hour since I did that last Instacart. I got. Well, more than an hour, because I rode my bike for an hour. All right, we got some DoorDash action going on. Back to back, too. I couldn't believe it. This one, 1050, 4.7 miles. I couldn't believe it also that the map was red and that DoorDash signed me in from like 8 a.m. till 1.30. It must be hurting today. All right, got the DoorDash dropped off. Freaking out of elementary school. Um, yeah, I just saw a $60 Instacart. It was for three people. And that's the second one I saw, $60 for three people. I saw one earlier when I was riding my bike and someone else got it. And then I just saw this one. I don't even know the details. I crack fingered it and it, someone else got it. And I'm not surprised though, cause I am five miles away from food line now. So I made that 1050 on that DoorDash, but I missed out on that $60 order that I probably could have got if I was sitting at home on my bike. But you can't win them all. You can't predict what order is gonna come in when. All right, got another Instacart. This one is nineteen dollars and fifty six cents going two point eight miles eleven items nice and easy one first one at food line today too yesterday i was living at food line smooth these flowers threw me for a loop because in the picture they're different color flowers but in the reality they are what is this lady doing is she waiting for me there's people on both sides what is going on i'm going yeah flowers threw me for a loop because they're colored in the picture but they didn't have colored ones, but then <clears throat> they had just like the same style of flower. I don't, I don't know nothing about flowers. These flowers look the same as those flowers, just they weren't different colors. And then I saw that it said, be happy. And the ones I was looking for were called be happy. Easy as that. Got the next Instacart. It is $45. Going like five miles, 40 items. So pretty, pretty good order. I'm happy about it.
All right, I can't believe I just got this one. Uh, it's a pickup only order. $47, it says 17 miles, only 12 bags, but there's two customers. First customer, the address is something university and this is their delivery instructions. Like, I'm sure it was the Instacart app that just ruined whatever they typed cause it doesn't, I, I don't know. It says something about some road. I don't know if it's actually at a university we got to figure all that out, but whatever, $47. Heck yeah, just to pick up some groceries, 12 bags of groceries. This is insane. This guy's, he's waiting, waiting real hard. Anyway, I just called to let him know I'm here. And the girl said she has to put one order away and then she'll be out. But shoot ah uh, i don't know i'll give this one 30 minutes i mean 30 minutes and i'm going inside i'll go inside 15 minutes if i don't hear anything from them this order is too easy to pass i'll sit here all night not really but all right so while i'm sitting here i just realized um it's not <laughs> at a university this person just lives off of university drive is it's a house so doesn't matter that their delivery instructions don't make any sense this is amazing i wonder who tipped what because it's 35 dollars even in tip is someone just feeling super generous i bet one person tipped 10 and the other tipped 15 that seems reasonable right Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. I picked up that order so easily. I can tell I don't want to do any more grocery shopping tonight. <laughs> the grocery store is absolutely insane right now. There's just people walking everywhere. Uh, yeah, I kind of think I'm... What did I say? One person tipped 20 and one tipped 15. I don't know. This first, the first order is a lot of stuff. Second order is only two bags. Second order is like Valentine's Day stuff. So maybe we'll do $25 tip on the first order and $10 tip on the second order. That seems. And it's definitely not going to be as many miles as that joint said because. It has me doing this all roundabout, going like up to get to the highway where I can literally just go drop this one off, turn around and cut like five miles off. So this is a amazing order. All right, got the first Instacart dropped off. And that person, I don't know, they just, the vibes, they seem real considerate, real kind. They met me at the door and everything. They might have tipped $30 and this other one's only $5. All right, so there we go. Second Instacart dropped off. I changed my guess like 50 times, but I think my final guess was right. Cause I think the last thing I said was that one person tipped 30, first customer 30, second customer five. I was thinking about a thing, something that uh, these apps should do. Like, you know how we have the piggyback tipper. So, you know, the person who doesn't tip that they pair with someone who tips really good. And then the person who doesn't tip gets their food. They should make it mandatory for the person that gets the piggyback tip, you know, the one that doesn't tip. They should have to send the person who uh, did tip good a thank you for making it possible to get their order delivered. That, that should be like a common courtesy. But I kind of think that's going to do it for this one because it is Wednesday, almost 6 p.m. Wednesday, and I'm at like 600 and 20 or 630 dollars for the week so 
Rest of the week is easy street. All right, it's Thursday morning now. I accepted Instacart and I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it at all. I probably should just drop the entire order because of how high the variability of what I'll actually get paid is going to be. Because it's three orders. And the first order is going to the mall. It's going to Starbucks. It's 37 gallons of milk. I'm not doing that. I know there's no tip on it. There's, but the problem, the reason that I'm saying that I'm, I don't know how much money I'm going to lose is because there's $22 in heavy pay or base pay, but you know, with the heavy pay, it's $22 total. So I could lose 10, 15 bucks. You know, you never know. But anyway, I, I'm not delivering 37 gallons of milk to Starbucks because here's why. I know Starbucks didn't tip. It's somebody's job who works at Starbucks to either go get that or they have someone else deliver it. They're just trying to save money doing this and I'm not helping them save money. They ain't going to do nothing for me. So anyway, I already canceled their order and I'm going to do these other two because I'm pretty sure the one customer I've delivered to before I'm just worried about how low the base pay can go on this because I do have to drive all the way to Annapolis. So I don't know, whatever, let's go shopping. All right, so I only lost like seven or eight bucks for dropping that uh, <laughs> that Starbucks 37 milks. So to me, that's well worth it because uh, having to lug 37 milks into the mall for no tip. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. There was no tip on that order. And the first customer, they tipped five dollars. They only ordered a couple things, but they ordered at a grocery store that is 15 miles away. And like, there aren't any other food lines that are closer. So why they had to pick food, literally Safeway, one mile up the road that way. Um, I don't know what other groceries, I know there's more grocery stores around here, like a $5 tip on five or six items. If you personally have to drive a couple miles is fine. But when you get the person to drive 15 miles, no, that's not worth it. The other person's tip made it worth it. I'm just so glad I didn't, I still made 50 bucks on that order. I was worried that I was only gonna make like $30 and then I had to drive, you know, 15 miles. Turned out good for what, what it was. All right, so since I gotta drive all this way, I'll do another little ranty thing here. I'm pretty sure one other time when I talked about the Starbucks milk order, someone left me a comment saying that they would just like, you know, say the store only had like two milks or something. Show up to Starbucks with two milks. And the reason I wouldn't do that is because uh, they, they can rate you. And I get it. Like, if there really is only two milks and you show up with two milks, that's their problem, not yours. But that don't mean they ain't going to leave you a bad rating. Ooh. All right. It's been quite a while since I did the last Instacart. Maybe an hour or so. I got this one. 26 bucks. Uh, not even going a mile, 21 items at the giant. I got the next Instacart. This one is $14.84. It says it's going 1.7 miles, but it's, I don't know, the GPS is off. It's literally going right across the street from Food Line and 12 items, so super easy one. All 
I got that Instacart dropped off and literally when I was getting back to my car, I saw this one, $72, not even going three miles, 50 something items. Somebody else's crack finger got it. I was close, I got the screenshot. So that means I was close to accepting it. All right, I got another Instacart. I think this is gonna be the last one. It's 15 bucks, 15 items going 0.5 miles but it's literally like it, the townhouse is in the parking lot so and there's a ten dollar even tip but they got a bunch of cat food so let's go get the kitties some food accepted another Instacart basically right after that one. Um, it's like almost 25 bucks, six and a half miles, 21 items. But I don't know. I'm not hyped on it because one, one customer lives right next to Giant. The other customer lives right next to me. Of course, they want me to shop at Giant, drop off the person that lives right next to me, then drive right back towards Giant to drop off to the other person. And that second person that I have to do all that driving for ordered one item and it's two boxes of like candy or I don't know, two, two boxes of something that are $4.50. I didn't know you could order Instacart when it's less than $10. Like they have a $9 bill. But I know I've delivered to this person before and they usually tip really good. So I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna drop them. All right, this first customer there's a good chance they're gonna make it on the naughty list. Three cases of water, four 12 packs of ice, two gallons, all going to the second floor. It's So looking at the payout, uh, I don't know, I guess $10 is cool to make four trips up to the second floor. That's not too bad. Oh, and then the second customer tipped me two bucks, but they, their order cost $9. So, and I know I've delivered to that person before, but anyway, that is going to do it for this one. So, uh, yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 PM, new video. Next video on Monday. Freaking leave me a comment, do the like thing, freaking watch the suggested video, or click on the shoe. Do whatever you want to do.